He always lived by his rules, and he always liked to have a lot of freedom, and he basically worked in an unstructured environment, and that's where he thrived. He would always tell me he just got up and looked for the next opportunity, that he never really knew what he was going to do, and that it was a lot of luck and a lot of opportunity, but if you weren't open to look for that opportunity, when it came along, you wouldn't see it. I was born in Afton, Wyoming in 1940. Uh, my parents moved to Soda Springs, Idaho when I was uh, just six months old. Went over to Jackson Hole for the summers and spent some winters in Rexburg and uh, then moved to Brigham City, Utah in 1960 and took over a gas station there. I worked in the gas station from, I don't know, I can't remember when I didn't. And by the time I was uh, 12 or 13, I pretty much could handle the station by myself. Uh, and I was servicing cars and chain fixing tires and things like that. I can't stand a lot of structure. I mean, I, I just got to have uh, freedom. Because of that, I give it to other people. Because if you take other people's freedom from them, then you have to manage them. And if you have to manage the people, then, then you don't have any freedom. I'd leave people alone and let them manage their own time, and people love that. I incorporated Flying J Oil Company in the spring of 1968 and set out to build self-service gas stations. And what my plan was was to build one station a year for 20 years. We got into the truck stops in uh, the late 70s. Now we're the number one uh, travel plaza. We're the number one diesel fuel marketer in the United States, probably in the world. There have been two things, I think, that have uh, been uh, the reason that I've been financially successful. One is that I think that I have kind of had the ability to pick good people, to be, to be able to talk with someone for a short period of time and to uh, recognize the qualities of the person. Consequently, we've just really attracted some great talent to Flying J, and they've been dedicated and hardworking people. I've had the ability and I've had people around me who've had the ability to recognize opportunity when they see it. Well, I've been able to motivate people to achieve beyond themselves a little bit, beyond their own interpretation of their abilities to, to some degree. I haven't had a desire to do anything that wouldn't let the people that help me have the privileges I have today have their dreams come true. So I wanted to put some strength in Flying J so it could grow uh, by itself. You need to make a contribution yourself that makes you feel part of it. Something that gives you a satisfaction that you're making a contribution to this world. That's the key to happiness.